How do you take your coaching framework, your proprietary process, and turn it into a great signature talk in a powerful, profitable way? Today I'm going to show you three options to do that, and which of these three options is my favorite. Let's do this. Hi, I'm John Cook. I'm the founder of Keynote Content, helping clarify your message so you can elevate your impact. And whether you're a business coach, a life coach, a corporate trainer, or some other type of coach, you need a proprietary process. Some call this your framework, your method, your pathway. It has a variety of names, but they all mean the same thing. What's your step-by-step -step process for doing what you do with clients to help them get the results that they expect? Now, I've worked with close to 1,300 coaches one-on-one -on -one over the past five years, and what I've discovered while working with that many coaches is that most coaches have a framework that's between three and seven steps. Usually, it's three to five steps. You might call these phases, stages, steps, different names, same concept. Tomato, tomato, tomatillo, I, I don't know. So about half the coaches I work with, they use public speaking to help get their message out to a broader audience. So what do we do? We create what I call their signature talk. Now this is typically a 30 to 45 minute talk they can use as a keynote, a breakout session, a webinar, a lunch and learn, some other type of speaking opportunity. And if you have a longer coaching framework, one that has five, six, seven steps, how do you fit that longer framework inside your signature talk? How do you ensure that your talk doesn't go way over time? How do you make sure that your audience doesn't get overwhelmed with all the information? If you have seven steps in your coaching framework, how do you ensure you don't leave out any step? That's why you're watching this. You wanna know how to get the full value of your framework to your audience so they don't miss any, any of the value that you have to add. What do you do though when your coaching framework doesn't seem to fit a standard time frame for your signature talk? If you have a longer framework, one that has five or more steps, there are three options on how to fit your framework into your signature talk. Option one, is what I call your pick and choose. Which, which steps do I wanna highlight? If you wanna create a signature talk that covers your coaching framework, you're likely looking at 30 minutes, maybe a 45 minute time frame. The first option you could choose for the sake of time is to only cover a select few steps in your coaching framework. If you have seven steps, but only 30 minutes for a signature talk, you could choose to cover only three or four of your steps. But how do you choose? Which ones do you cover? You probably have a favorite step in your process. Come on, we all have kind of that favorite step. Maybe it's one that's a real catalyst for getting great results for your clients. Like this is where all the magic happens is step three, step four. Maybe it's a step that you love to do because it's fulfilling for you. Whatever reasons may be, they can vary by the audience, but this is a popular approach by many speakers who want the flexibility to adapt their talk to any audience with a, a little bit of a teaser. So what's the teaser, right? If I have seven steps in my coaching framework and I only cover three or four of those steps, what's your number one question? What are the other four steps? Now this can frustrate the more, we'll call more type A members of your audience because we want to know what all the steps are, right? And what are their order? I can't miss out on any of the steps, but how do you fix that? You can say, my process has seven steps. And yes, each step in my process has a purpose, but for the sake of time today, I'm only going to go in depth on three or four of my steps. Later on in your talk though, after you've briefly mentioned the other four steps without going into any detail at all, you can say, now I mentioned earlier that there are seven steps in my process. We've covered three, but what about the other four? Can, can I give you the whole process in one area so you can see how this all works for your business and we don't go over our time limit here? Of course, your audience is gonna say yes. That's, that's when you have a lead magnet though. It's a training or some other type of valuable resource that goes into detail on every step of your process. But how does your audience get that resource? they trade you their contact info, and now you're in a lead generation conversation. So if your coaching framework is too long for a standard signature talk time frame, you can cover all of your framework steps in an unbalanced way. This helps the more type A members of your audience stay focused throughout your entire talk. But this is also the group that wants you to give equal time to every step so it's nice and orderly, but you can't have your cake and eat it too. Instead, we're gonna cover all of your steps, all five, six, seven steps, whatever it is, in an unbalanced way. Sort out all of your steps into two categories features and flybys. So which steps of your process do you want to feature in the signature talk? And which steps do you want to maybe fly by, maybe spending at least, at most two minutes talking about that step? You want to give your audience enough time to see the value and function of each step. This gives a great context for your framework in its entirety, while also spending more of your time on the steps that you really want to feature. That leads us to our third option. If you have a longer coaching framework that doesn't seem to fit a, a standard 30 minute time frame for your signature talk, you can take the even Steven approach. Take 85% of your allotted time frame and divide it by the total number of steps in your coaching framework. This gives you the remaining 15% of your talk time for your intro and for wrapping up your talk at the end. Now this approach, it gives equal weight to each step in your process. And as you probably already realize, this is the hardest option to master well for one key reason audience overwhelm. 
Covering a seven step framework in just under 26 minutes is a, that's a recipe for losing audience members' attention. It's, it's a fire hose of information in a short time frame. Can it be done? Yes, I've seen it done well a handful of times, but more often than not, I've seen coaches lose their audiences trying to cover that much ground in a short period of time. So those are three solid options for fitting your coaching framework into your signature talk. But the question is, which option do I recommend? Personally, I recommend option number two, covering all the steps in your entire coaching framework in an unbalanced way for three key reasons. Number one, it holds your audience's attention better. Number two, it removes distracting gaps in your process for more type A audience members. Number three, you can still embed the lead generation offer in your talk after sending them the resource that goes into detail on every step of your framework. That's what I recommend, but as always, take a look at all of your options. Pick the one that works for you and let me know in the comments section below which option that you like. And if you like what I shared today, please give this a thumbs up, hit subscribe to catch more of my videos about how to clarify your message and elevate your impact and income as a coach, consultant, and advisor. Now, can I tell you about the 500 speakers who asked me to delete their talks? It's still wise, it's still crazy to me that this happened. If you're wondering why so many speakers just deleted their talks while working with me, hit play on this next video to get the whole story. 